How y'all doing fam? This is Chris Rob with Media TV and I'm gonna be dropping this video um and the chaos that's going on in the JFK airports continue days after winter blast. So I'm gonna let y'all watch this video. Anger and frustration is boiling over at JFK this morning as the airport struggles to recover from Thursday's snowstorm. Stranded passengers are outraged after having to spend yet another night at the airport. CBS 2's Rena Roy is there and joins us live. Rena, good morning. Cindy and Andrea, good morning. I can tell you that it has not been fun by any means for the thousands of passengers who are here stranded. They are confused, they are frustrated, and just wondering when they will finally be able to board their planes. Cardboard beds, strangers huddling for warmth, many sleeping here for days. I am so angry, words can't even express how I feel right now. Found some cardboard, real nice. We call these neighborhoods. Tensions running high at JFK Airport. Everyone video this because we need answers. Thousands sharing travel horror stories. Some stuck on dark planes on the tarmac for hours, even up to a full day, waiting to deplane or take off at all. So we were in the um, plane for a good 20 hours. They took us out once. They took us out once to eat, and then we were back in the plane. But you've been here for three days. This is the third day starting now. 300 passengers uh, upstairs, and they're becoming, shall I say, restless. The Port Authority says there aren't enough gates to handle the backlog of rescheduled flights since Thursday's snowstorm when thousands were canceled. Additional staff were called in last night to help. Baggage is another issue. We got into the, into the airport at 4 in the morning and we've been waiting for our luggage since then and they keep saying it's coming and it's not coming. The Federal Aviation Administration even forced to limit some flights into the airport last night, including all of them going into Terminal 1. But it's awful. I've never seen anything like this. It makes me not want to fly anywhere and definitely not on JFK. And as this chaos continues, officials say it is very important for passengers to reach out to their individual airlines to find out about any possible changes. We're live outside JFK Airport this morning. Rena Roy, CBS 2 News. Rena, thank you. Well, y'all have it, uh, fam. Uh, this, this shit is like, it's going on. It's, tensions are rising very, very bad because they're not telling these people uh, when their flights are going to be... Uh, back on so they can get to their destination they're not telling them how long it's going to be they're not it just not they, they're not telling the people what they need to hear and i won't be surprised if if a lawsuit come up i won't be surprised if a lawsuit come up but i know they're gonna lose a lot of money though uh they're gonna lose a lot of money after this because uh like how would you feel if you stuck at an airport they're not telling you what's going on you gotta damn near sleep at the fucking airport no no uh no covers no pillow no nothing you know to fucking sleep at and shit like that and it's cold as fuck and it's like you're fucking stranded so man I feel bad for the people but you know what i'm saying that shit crazy just wanted to drop this video y'all y'all have a good morning